How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Donald Trump's second Supreme Court nomination and hopefully the second Supreme Court justice, and that is Brett Kavanaugh. He has been selected. This happened last night, right around 9 p.m. to mixed responses. I'll get to those responses in just a moment, but to talk about him for a moment. This guy is very qualified, a graduate of Yale and Yale Law School currently teaches at Harvard, Georgetown also. He's also on the D.C. District Court of Appeals, one of the highest courts in the land. He's been there for 12 years. He was hired at Harvard by current Supreme Court Justice Elena Kagan, who is probably the most liberal justice there is, although he appears to be a very conservative person just based upon what he said in a short period of time he was on stage last night and also based upon reports about him there's been some straw manning going on talking about he's going to repeal roe v wade but there's been no evidence of them saying anything about that ever that's kind of a pie in the sky really for anybody to repeal roe because that's been in law for a very long time you're talking about 1973 second of all he said last night and even before then that he is somebody that really respects precedents so obviously roe v wade that set a precedent that does not mean that precedents can't be rolled back obviously but he most certainly respects those things in many situations so roe v wade being repealed that's you know really kind of a shot in the dark and he's not saying anything about that but again that's a straw man that has been created by the left so they'll attack anybody that gets nominated by Trump in that same way, because quite frankly, they don't have any other ammunition. It's so sad that the Women's March put out a press release and I'll place the article about this on the screen before you in the press release. They had it written out before the actual nominee was known. And we know that because in the first line of it, it says XX rather than the actual name of the person. So. Basically, they had to just replace the XX with whoever was there, whether it had been um, Kavanaugh, whether it had been Amy Barrett, whoever it was. They don't have any other actual ammunition. Not only did you have that Fugazi press release from the Women's March, you also had a somewhat riot protest. I'm not really sure what to call it immediately after the decision. I suppose that was outside of the White House and I'll play some footage on the screen before you. These people don't really care who Trump nominated to be the next Supreme Court justice. All they're worried about is Trump and trying to counteract whatever he does. It doesn't matter who he selected. It could have been the person that saved a million babies from a genocide. It could have been the smartest man on earth. It could have been Jesus Christ himself coming down from the sky. It doesn't matter. All that matters to them is that Trump nominated him. Matter of fact, it could have been the same person nominated by Hillary Clinton and they wouldn't have a problem at all. They don't care who is there. They don't even really know anything about these individuals. All they know is that Trump is behind them. One guy even came out and said it. He said, look, we're not going to be for this person because they passed Trump's litmus test. He actually said that. And if I could find that quote, I'll put it on the screen and also put it in the box. We have the majority in the Senate and that's all we need to confirm Kavanaugh. So there won't really be a fight there. The only person that made dissent in the Republican Party at this point is John McCain, because John McCain at this point is a turncoat. We all know it. He has no loyalty to the Republican Party anymore or to what he purported himself to be as a conservative. I mean, I'm glad we dodged that bullet. Maybe it would have been better to have him and Sarah Palin than Obama, but would it have really been? Because what if he gets in there, that's the same thing that Obama does. Why would you vote for another Republican? So we probably did dodge a bullet right there. I'm glad he has not gotten any higher than what he is. Unfortunately for him, he has one foot in the grave, but that could be seen as a good thing for us. Not that he's going to die, but hopefully he'll just retire, go play with his grandkids for his twilight years and have that be that. But I digress to get back on track here. The Democrats don't really have any kind of ammunition. 
Some conservatives are a little upset because they thought it should have been Amy Barrett instead. I'm not quite sure why. I mean, I've seen some things about Amy Barrett and some things about Kavanaugh. I heard that Kavanaugh voted for the Obamacare mandate and a couple of other things. And the fact that he got hired at Harvard by Elena Kagan kind of sent some red flags because it's like you have this very liberal woman who's currently on the Supreme Court. That is somebody who she agrees with in some sort of way. I'm not really sure she put her political affiliation or her political bias into the hiring of him to teach at Harvard, but that kind of is a red flag. However, he was also a clerk under the current retiring Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. Anthony Kennedy will be gone as a Supreme Court Justice on July 31st of this year. He will be retired. It shouldn't take too long to get Kavanaugh confirmed by the Senate. Like I said, we have the majority, 51 to 49. All we need is all of our people to vote one way, even if McCain dissents, which he probably will. We'll still have um, the majority. And all we need from the other side is maybe the three people who voted for Neil Gorsuch. My man Manchin from West Virginia is one of them there are two other people i forget who they are but i will put them in the box if you want to check them out for yourself but overall i think this is a solid choice in kavanaugh i'm looking at his resume it's rock solid i mean this guy's running marathons he's on the current uh dc court of appeals for 12 years he teaches at georgetown harvard yale graduate smart guy uh married two kids somebody that appears to be a little bit more moderate but leaning conservative which is what we need people that are upset about trump not nominating amy barrett should kind of just pump their brakes because honestly i think trump has at least two more picks coming up aside from gorsuch and aside from kavanaugh you are gonna have ruth Bader ginsburg who retires or dies i mean she's 85 years old how long can you be in the supreme court at a certain point you're, you're not really going to be able to be there also stephen Breyer, 79 years old maybe even clarence thomas will step down he's 70 and that's kind of crazy for him to be considered young as a supreme court justice because you got all these people that are close to 80 or over 80 there but he may actually retire pretty soon or close to the end of trump's second term yes he will go for another term that's pretty much uh set in stone in my humble opinion there's nobody on the left that can really oppose him so i think that trump is going to really be able to change history in a positive way and i don't think the left like i said has any real ammunition against what he's doing other than they just want trump to fail at whatever he does which to me and to you as well should not make any sense because we're all here together we're all on the same landmass we're all in the same country why would you want the current president to fail because if he fails you fail okay if he's not able to get certain things done properly that's going to affect you in a negative way are you so hateful and vindictive that you'll cut your nose and spite your face you'll ruin your own country and your own particular place you live just to prove a point just to get a person out of office and you don't know who's going to come behind them they may make your life even worse than you thought trump had it things are going on in a positive way we need more of a conservative push in the nation to counteract all the extreme liberalism that is dominating society the transgenderism uh the me too movement people getting tarred and feathered and lynched in the court of public opinion before a trial even happens what happened to the rule of law innocent until proven guilty all these things appear to be going by the wayside and the way of the dodo bird extinct so hopefully trump's able to get these appropriate supreme court picks in there to push the nation forward but that's pretty much all i got so what say you do you think that brett kavanaugh is a good pick i mean i think he's good looking at his resume it, everything seems to be right i don't foresee any kind of controversy he appears to be kind of a square guy and i like that i don't like a guy that is kind of on the edge you don't really know about him you're kind of nervous about what may come out as a result of this person not really being a, cent a centered 
person. You know, maybe some kind of weird scandal from years ago. Uh, somebody talking about they got beat up, assaulted, or some sexual harassment at the workplace. I don't see that with him. He's married, two daughters. He coaches the basketball team, I think, running marathons. This guy is an overall well-rounded person and somebody that appears to be very mentally stable and has a good story, has existing blinds with people that are on the Supreme Court and also one person that is leaving or one person that's there and Kagan who has not announced a retirement anytime soon who is a liberal which should promote bipartisanship or at least it should and you also have relationship with Anthony Kennedy you were a clerk for him for a year and he's currently retiring some say this is nepotism because Anthony Kennedy knows him Elena Kagan knows him he's already in the D.C. Uh, court of appeals so you're like right there in dc everybody knows you but look at the end of the day you may get into a position by knowing certain people that's just the way life is it doesn't matter if you're talking about a small job like when i had when i was a young game working at old country buffet or sam's club or something like that in each case i knew somebody that worked there that's how i was able to get on you build relationships, you build bonds, and that helps you to push forward. It is what it is. So nepotism and all of that, I really don't see it. And at the end of the day, he's qualified very much so. Look at his resume. Uh, people talking about Amy Barrett. I think that she will have her chance coming up soon. Because as far as I know, there were like 13 people that were in the running. I think you hear back from them and maybe Amy Barrett is at the top of the list and she gets in as a result of the next Supreme Court justice leaving, whether that be uh, Ginsburg, Breyer, maybe even Clarence Thomas. But that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Overall, I'm pretty much satisfied with the pick and I look forward to the next two or three picks from the Trump administration to fill up the Supreme Court with forward thinking righteous people but whatever your comments are please let me know in the comments below and that's all i gotta say for this video if you like what you heard please comment rate share and subscribe peace